Overall, not a bad day here in Rapid City. There are just some scattered snow showers up into the hills, as well as some cloud cover. And you can see this all on the radar and satellite imagery, all the cloud cover from north down into South Dakota, as well as into Minnesota, into the northern parts of Iowa. There are also some snow showers on the eastern parts of North Dakota and South Dakota, as well as some snow showers occurring down into Colorado. Now moving closer into our neck of the woods, you can see those snow showers I was talking about here in the northern hills. Not a whole lot is occurring down in the foothills due to those northwesterly winds providing upslope flow. Now for the next week, nothing's really going to be changing. Currently, we're under this very large amplitude ridge, bringing in those warmer temperatures from the south. And as I put this into motion, the next seven days are not really going to be changing. Rapid City and the whole entire region will continue to be under those ridging conditions, so the warm trend will be continuing for at least the next week. However, I do want to point out there is some severe weather down in Omaha, so if you do have uh, relatives or friends that live down there, you may want to warn them about the severe weather that is approaching them. However, in our neck of the woods, nothing but sunshine as well as those clouds that are moving in from the west. But like I said before, there's no precipitation with these and there will continue to be plenty of sunshine. Now we just got an update here. Uh, it is now impacting the western uh, parts of Rapid City as well as maybe some downtown regions as it continues to move eastward. And I'll continue to update you on this line of storms as time progresses and if any warnings come up especially I will warn you. And uh, once again uh, with this line of storms, heavy winds as well as some frequent clouded ground lightning so I would be staying away from any water sources once again or any electric appliances as lightning can travel through those sources and also stay away uh, from windows as we do have some gusty wind. This is all due to this very large high pressure here and this will continue to stick around uh, at least through Tuesday and it's going to be moving its way down to the south and as that high uh, continues to be around our region, it will continue to bring in plenty of sunshine. Now looking at the radar and satellite imagery, you can see that we, we do have some showers here in the Black Hills region, pretty spotty, so not a washout for any of you who are watching this. But I do want to point something out to you. Going to the south, you can see that we have some severe weather occurring in the Oklahoma region. Now there are some storms moving to Oklahoma City, so if you know anyone that lives down there, you may want to call them to give them a heads up that severe weather is heading your way. So today we saw a lot cooler uh, weather conditions today compared to the last few days. You can see here in the Black Hills region we have mostly 60s and even just some upper 50s here in Faith down into Phillip and Pier. And our friends to our west here in Gillette, 80 degrees there. I would really want to be there right now and get some some of those higher temperatures and some stronger rays, but unfortunately I cannot. So. Uh, areas here in Wyoming as well as Montana and near the border of South Dakota and Nebraska, those warmer temperatures do exist. Now looking at the 24-hour temperature change from uh, this time yesterday, you can see we're already 17 degrees cooler this time uh, yesterday. So it's a lot cooler and this is only going to continue and we even have some stronger deficits here in Faith as well as north into Mobridge. Now this is all due to a very strong storm system that's going to be making its way through and looking at the current radar and satellite imagery you can see we do have some showers down into uh, Denver, Colorado and as I move out into a wider view you can see there's a lot of moisture with this system and we even have some stronger storms down into the northwestern part of Nebraska and some of those showers have already crossed 
into South Dakota, and this is only going to continue for the next few days. And once again, this is all due to this very strong storm system that's down into Colorado right now. There's going to be a lot of moisture wrapping around it, and then our big temperature change is going to come with this other system here into Montana. As I put these into motion, you can see with these two storm systems, just a lot of rain, a lot cooler conditions, but these rain showers should move out by midday or later in the evening, I should say, on Saturday. And Sunday should look a little bit better. But from now into uh, later Saturday afternoon, we're going to see a lot of moisture with this. As I show you this moisture potential, you can see areas such as here in Rapid City, over an inch of rain from tonight into Saturday evening. And there are some areas even south of Rapid City. Custer, for example, can see near two inches of rain. So it's going to be a very wet, uh, weekend. So if you like the rain, this is your weekend. If you don't like the rain and you don't like cooler temperatures, uh, I recommend to stay inside, take all of your activities inside because it's not going to be that weekend to hold anything outside for sure. Now tonight it's going to be pretty warm. We're thinking about 51 degrees or so with some showers in the area with light winds out of the northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. But as we go into tomorrow morning and into uh, the afternoon hours, those rain showers will be moving in, and those temperatures won't be increasing very much. We're only going to get up to about 56 degrees, and those winds will be picking up as well. So it's going to be a very yucky Friday, even though it is Friday. It's not going to be a very pleasant one out there. Now, the next seven days, it's going to be a little bit of a bumpy ride for Friday through the beginning of Sunday. Just that rain will be continuing to be in our area with those winds as well. But as we move into the beginning of the work week, we still have a slight chance for a shower or two, but it's going to be drying out at least compared to this weekend. And then going into Wednesday and Thursday, we will be drying out with more sunshine on Thursday with temperatures nearing 70 degrees. Well, there's a winter weather advisory in effect until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning for portions of our viewing area. You can see those areas shaded in white. Now, what we can expect with this winter advisory is anywhere from 3 to 6 inches in that pink region, which is in the northern Black Hills, 2 to 4 in the purple region, which is uh, west of the Black Hills, so areas such as Sheridan can expect about two to four and then the one to three is in the white and uh, once again we are under that winter weather advisory until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning now looking at our afternoon highs you can see that there is a very large contrast in temperatures Rapid City today was sitting at about 53 degrees and east of Rapid City we had temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s but look at the areas to the west of Rapid City a lot cooler temperatures in the lower 40s to even down into the upper upper 30, so a lot cooler there. Now looking at our radar and satellite imagery, you can see that we do have some uh, moisture here in Montana as well as going south into Sheridan. So snow is falling there right now. We also have some scattered snow showers already falling in the northern Black Hills region. And this is all due to this very large low pressure system here. And there's a lot of moisture wrapping around it. So this is what's causing that winter weather advisory to be in effect until tomorrow morning. A lot of moisture and a lot of snow will be falling with this system. Now looking at the hour by hour, you can see that we do have this low pressure once again with a lot of moisture wrapping around it, bringing that snow uh, falling into the northern Black Hills as well as into Wyoming and Montana. However, as we move forward into time, that low pressure will be making its way northward, bringing some clearer conditions here in the uh, Black Hills region and for the rest of the area. And going forward in time into Monday, it's going to be a pretty nice day out there. That sunshine will be returning as well as those warmer temperatures. You can also see that we do have this high pressure that's going to be in control of our weather for the next few days. So with that, we will be expecting
expecting a lot more sunshine as well as some warmer temperatures. So for those who have not been enjoying this last day or two with all that rain, you're in luck. That sunshine and those warmer temperatures will be returning. Now looking at the hour by hour, you can see that we do have some snow that's going to be falling uh, say in Ikalaka as well as into some areas west of the city and going into uh, some future hours. You can see that moisture will be moving out. Now as we go into tomorrow, it's going to still be a little bit cool out there with temperatures in the upper 50s and a little bit cooler going up into the northern hills. 46 at Deadwood, 40 or 48 in Deadwood, excuse me, going out into the Plains region. A little bit warmer with some 60s in Pine Ridge as well as Martin and lower 50s for the areas in northwestern South Dakota as well as into eastern Wyoming. Now going into those next seven days, you can see we do have a slight chance of a shower early in the day tomorrow with temperatures in the upper 50s and then as we get into the beginning of the work week, we're going to be drying out as well as warming up with temperatures from Monday through next Saturday anywhere from the upper 60s to lower 70s.